Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will explain what is Clojure in Swift. Uh, before explaining Clojure, I assume that everyone who listens to read this video knows about functions uh, because we'll use Clojure inside function. So, till now we know that uh, the basic structure of function in Swift is like this. If you are defining the function with keyword func and name of function name function then uh, inside brackets you put parameters for example as a p1 parameter 1 we can put in p1 integer then uh, this is integer then return type become integer then inside this curly brackets we write whatever we want Let's put like this, p1 plus 2, 1. Okay, this is just a simple function in Swift. But uh, in advanced Swift, we can put another function inside this function as a parameter and return type might be another function. Okay, to do so, let's create a simple function which is called calculator. Let me put like this function calculator. It will take two parameter n1 as an integer and n2 also integer and the return type will be integer as well return n1 plus n2 okay let's call this function to see that if this is working properly calculator n1 as an n1 we put 4 as in 2 we put 5 as we see what what this function is doing it's taking first parameter and the second and summing up these two parameters as you see that we have nine here if we want to change this function to uh, multiply these two values we just need to go to the return type and put multiply here we will see that when we call this function it will return us the return will change return change to 20 because now the function is uh, multiplying but this is not the professional way because uh, if we Every time if we want to change mathematical operations, uh, we need to change return type. So, not to do this way, to make it more professional, we can call, uh, we can put another third parameter here uh, as a function to call different types of uh, mathematical operations. To do so, let's create another function which is called add function. Add it, it also takes two parameter n01 n01 as an integer and second parameter n02 also integer and this will return also integer because we will sum up these two values integer it's returning n01 plus n02 if you boil down this function to put it as a parameter in the calculator function we know that what's boiling down boiling down is uh, you are putting the type of parameters and return type which means that in our case it's like this integer and integer first parameter is integer second parameter is integer and return type is also integer we can write this function like this we can boil down this function like this so we we are we copy this syntax and put as an third parameter we call this third parameter operation inside this function and pass it here this means that now we have three parameters for this uh, function 
first one is integer, second one is integer, third one is a function which is taking two parameters, two integer parameters and returning integer. Returning integer. So as we go down, you will see that our Xcode is complaining about uh, about saying that we have missing one parameter, which means that we have another third parameter. If we delete this and recall this function, calculator, calculator, and put four, five. Here we can put as a function, we have add function here. We can copy it and pass it here. When we run this function, we see that we still have 20 here. Why? Because we didn't change the return. Return still multiplying these two uh, parameters without looking operation. So in this case, uh, our operation is another function. So we can call uh, as an operation function as a return. So we can put like this operation, which takes two parameter, n01, n1, and n2. So if we go down now and run this function again, we will see that we have output 9. Now what is this function is doing? It's taking first parameter and second parameter using operation function, I mean operation parameter is a function, using operation function and re uh, returning it to us. So if we add another function as a multiply here, for example, I'll create, I'll copy this and pass this multi multiply, and while calling this function put multiply here, we will see that our output will be 20. It's multiplying 4 multiplied with 5, we will get uh, as an output we have 9 here because we haven't changed this sign from plus to multiply. You see that we have 20 here. As you see that for uh, using just simple function, we wrote a lot of code here. So which means that if we use this in re real time, I mean in our applications, in complex application we will have a lot of code to make our life easier and to have short lines of code we use uh, instead of function closures in our parameters so what is uh, inside function as a parameter what is closure closure is an autonomous function which means that we can uh, convert any function to a closure so how are we going to do this the way the best way is to do is uh, let's remove this. Let me remove this function from here. I will, I will go on this add function. Let me put add here. So, how are we uh, converting our add function to a closure? The best way to do this is we will we remove uh, fun keyword and name of function. And taking this curly bracket to the front and putting in, instead of this curly bracket, we put in keyword here. Okay, I will do the so deleting fun keyword and name of function and taking this curly bracket to the front and putting in here. So we can copy this closure now. put inside this function as a parameter. At the end, we will see that our function still uh, return 9. And we deleted extra code of lines from here. And we can make our life much more easier by cutting down these uh, lines of code. How are we going to do this? It's uh, the best way, I mean, uh, as we know from the Swift functionality that if a variable assigned to uh, any value and based on this value, we can identify the type of, uh, type of that variable, which means that here 
we can easily delete these types and return type as well because if we for example sum up these two integer we will get integer or multiply this integer we will get integer based on return type we can identify the return uh, return type so what I'm going to do is to cut down this code much more less I will delete these types from here and return type as well so we made our life much more easier by making this code just in one line and what's more we can make this uh, line even further even less so as we know that this is closure yeah so closure should have something to return so we don't need return keyword here which means that we are making this line uh, less and uh, to go further uh, we can make this uh, much more easier as well how we will, how are we going to do this uh, we know that from the functionality of the Swift in Swift uh, closure has ability to provide anonymous parameter names so in Swift dollar uh, zero refers to first parameter so instead of using these parameters here we can just change everything just like this dollar zero one dollar zero two now dollar zero and dollar zero dollar one so dollar zero refers to first parameter dollar one refers to second parameter as you see that from this bunch of codes we made our life easier to make this code uh, much more easier and closure closure help us to make our code easier even we can go further uh, if the last parameter of the function is a closure we can remove this name of parameter from here like this and putting bracket here and removing this bracket from at the end you will see that uh, this is working also fine if we put any constant here let result is equal to this and print result you see that let me make this much Okay, you see that we have still line here, and as far as this uh, code printout, you will see uh, nine here. As you see that we have nine here. So from that bunch of codes, we made our life easier to make it just simple one line code. So closure makes our life easier and uh, it's more readable. But the only drawback about closure is if you don't have knowledge about closure, if anyone does not know what's closure and try to read your code, it will be very uh, difficult for them to read this code. What is this code? <laughs> but for advanced programmers, it's much more easier. You get, you just get rid of this bunch of codes from here, and uh, I really like to use it in my uh, programs as well. That's it and thank you for watching this video i hope this uh, was helpful for you